Spoke on everything that I've been, you know, like when God been pouring into me this whole week, you know, beginning with essence and, and encouraging. I mean, I was just reading first Thessalonians the other day, yesterday. Amen. It's crazy how this this always I keep telling y'all, I just read this, I just did that because I really just did. You know, um just we have to encourage one another, you know, because this life is real, you know. This walk with God and being a believer is real. And we need encouragement to keep going, not losing the faith, not, you know, acting as the world do. We're supposed to be holy and sanctified. You know, we can't, we can't forget that. You know, we can't look like the world. Whenever we look like the world, we're not looking like Christ. And if we don't look like Christ, we we in the wrong. Okay. Amen. I was just talking to um a friend of I think it was maybe last Sunday. Um, and we, we, I haven't talked to him in a minute, you know. Um, so I was going to call somebody else prior to it, but they didn't pick up. So I'm glad they didn't because <laughs> it was going to take me somewhere else. So I said, you know what, maybe that's my cue to call this person. So I called up. And before you know it, we started um, talking about Christ. You know, and I'm like, man, I needed this. <laughs> I felt refreshed. Fresh you know, um, man. and it was it was just encouraging, you know, like, yeah. But at the same time, it, it beat me up though, you know, because I um you know, prior to, I know I, I kinda I slipped up a little bit. Um and what what they told me, this individual told me is God's not gonna give you more of his spirit, you know, more of his grace. If you're gonna use it to please people, you know, I'm like, y'all, that, that sounds like something I would do, you know, not you know intentionally, but that's just something we would find ourselves doing if we are considerate, you know, and and that spoke to me, you know, whoever whoever else dealing with this, you know, being a people pleaser, you can't you can't do both. You can't please man and please God. Praise God. You know, um that's a, a big hindrance, you know. Yeah. You might think you are, you know, helping them, but you're not. You, you're doing a, a disservice to yourself, actually, um, because they're not going to get you into heaven. You know, God God is the only one who provides eternal life for you. So don't, you know, even when I'm up here before y'all, you know, I have to get out of, you know, Trying to say something y'all might want to hear. You know, this is all about what God wants me to say. That's right. You know, and and it's just been dealing with me about that. You know, um, constantly this week. I'm like, yeah, I need to be bold with you, Lord. You know, because this is this is me before you. You know, um, even as I'm speaking right now, I I, I seek to please Him. Amen. Um, and just it's I mean, for an example, I wanted to tell y'all. Um, you know, it's kind of like driving a car, you know. I don't know how many of y'all do this, but I do it. Um, say somebody coming out of a gas station. Uh, this this was playing in my head right now. I'm coming down the, um, the highway, right? They got a gas station right here. I see they don't have, nobody's in front of me. The light is coming. I'm slowly approaching the light that's in front of me, right? And they got a, um, a car coming out of the gas station and I'm steady moving. But I look back and I see that there's nobody behind me, but they still trying to get out, right? So me, the type of person I am, I got space. I'm gonna zoom up a little bit quicker so they can so they can get out because they look like they they trying to get out of them. All right, so boom, by me doing that, I actually could cause a wreck to happen, you know, because I done took my eyes off what's in front of me real quick or, or I'm, I'm doing something I don't really necessarily need to do. You know, I'm putting myself in harm's way, you know, by speeding up, you know, just to please them, you know, help help them, you know, but not knowing that I could end up 
uh, in, in a bad situation, you know. Amen. So you just gotta, you gotta ask yourself, man, is it worth it? Is, it? is pleasing people worth it? You know, keep asking yourself why, you know, why, why do I feel like I'm gonna do this? Yeah. You know, and if you <laughs> install why, why do I feel like, you know, for me, um, I know I, I, I did, I did some drugs, y'all. It was, I did not want to, really. Well, at the time I did, I wanted to try. But, you know, after, after a while, I had to ask myself, like, why am I doing this? You know, and then it, it once I asked the why, it was like, um, I got the, the answer because of my friends, you know, it was like, why does it matter that I'm doing it with my friends? You know, because I wanted, I wanted company. You know, I want, I wanted somebody to be around me. You know, I wanted to feel love. You know, like, well, why don't I feel love? You know, so I mean, it's 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 levels to it. You just gotta keep asking yourself why. You know, keep listening, listen to your heart, y'all. Because Christ, that's what Christ is, right? He died for you. He is in you. There's plenty of of uh, examples in, a, in, in the word where he tells you he's inside you. You know, that's why you have power to overcome anything, Amen. you know. Amen. Um, but it all starts with you believing and then list, not only listening to your heart, but, you know, acting on it, whatever he's placing on your heart to do, you know. And you have to you have to do this for everything, you know. Listen to your heart, you know. Christ is in there. I cannot stress this enough. Christ is in you, speaking to you through your heart, okay? You know, if you don't feel good, you know, you know, like being considerate. Yesterday I was thinking about this, you know, being considerate. If you say you didn't want to do something. After after you did it for somebody, you know, okay, say like the fast, for example. All right, you want to, um, because I know I did this before. Um, while we're going to fast, we go out, boom, I break the fast. I didn't want to, but I did it to please them, you know, I want to fit in, okay. Ah, I don't, you know, and then afterwards, I'm like, I didn't want to do that. That's as God told that's me, right. don't break. Right. All right, that's just something to learn from. You know, just don't do it again. That's that's Christ telling you that that wasn't that wasn't what you were supposed to do. Okay, all right. Now you're hindering your blessing. You know, if you keep doing it so so often. All right, but you you in good hands though. You you good. You good. Most definitely. You know, and you have to. <laughs> He tell you, listen to your heart. Christ is in you, He's talking to you, okay? And you have to do this on the regular. You know, that is you praying to God, um, honestly, because if he's in you, Christ is your heart speaking to you. You check in how you feeling every moment. Because why? Because God says to acknowledge him in all your ways and he'll direct your paths. Why you think you're feeling that way? Because he's telling you, he's trying to guide you in the way he's supposed to go. All right? Mm. Oh, man. As y'all see, I don't know. Oh, Lord, have you raised. You know? Amen. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.